I think the Fed rate hike per se isn't really a good thing for people because uh, a lot of them are, a lot of them pay interest rates for things. But then there are older people who are savers and for them higher interest rates are good things because they can put money in the bank and they can earn interest on it again. And of course, to the extent that the Fed is able to raise rates because the economy is better, then higher rates are a good thing because they're a good thing because they're reflecting more normal economic conditions. If you're a homeowner and if you're in a place, chances are you have a fixed rate mortgage, it's not going to affect you. But it may cause the price of your house to be lower in the future when you sell because if other people have to pay a higher financing cost, they're not going to be able to afford to pay for your house what you paid for your house. If, this, if, if the process of Fed rate hiking goes on for some time, then it will start to have more of an impact on the car loans because they're going to then have to start paying for the money and they're going to have to pass that cost on. The thing that's allowing the Fed to move rates up now, arguably, is Donald Trump and the fact that he's promising this fiscal stimulus. And as much as the Fed is sort of being careful about warning you about the fiscal stimulus, the fiscal stimulus gives it something that allows the Fed to raise rates without the prospect of knocking the economy down. Now, the Fed has been very, very slow in raising rates, and we're coming into now the third rate height in the cycle. But, you know, one was December a year ago, and the other was just this past December, and now we're getting a rate hike in March after having had one in December. So they're starting to cluster together. Now we're thinking more of a program of Fed rate hikes. And, you know, it's never the rate hike that hurts you. It's what the market thinks is going to come next, what the program is going to be that lies ahead of us. So since the Fed thinks the economy can only grow 1.8%, there really isn't a lot of room to speed this up. But Trump's view is that it's very flexible and that you can do a lot with it. And so you've got Donald Trump, you've got the Fed, they're in very different pages, they're in very different books, they come from very different libraries. They are just not communicating. 